What's up all you gym bodies? I'm here with JP Sears and I'm going to tell you the five best workouts you can do. And I'll tell you better workouts that you can do. The squat. The, doing squats is going to increase your testosterone. It's the foundation of every bodybuilder, every man who wants to become more manly. I don't know about that, bro. On the squat, you want to make sure to get, get in your power position, legs just more than shoulder width, and have an upright back and upright up. Look to the sky. <sighs> Did you intentionally make those look hard? No, I was just going through my perfect form. Can I show you something better than a squat? Okay. Listen up. Let me show you something better. Lay down. You see, the amateur mistake Timothy made with a squat is it builds testosterone. The only thing that's going to do is give you a bigger, more muscular body which is basically your ego being in strong resistance to the body you have. Is there anything more dysfunctional that you can do? I don't think so. Hmm. Watch and learn. What Timothy's demonstrating is an exercise far superior to the squat. In yoga terminology, this is called Shavasana. Now what Timothy wants to do, instead of building his leg muscles through old technologies like actual exercise, you want to envision yourself connected to the center of the earth, and that gives you a strong, stable foundation. You just sit there accepting yourself as you are. I don't feel any stronger. Sounds like a weak mind. Number two being pull-ups. I can't think of a more functional workout for a man. When you're in the wild, and you're lost and deserted, you're going to want to have the basic techniques and strengths to be able to pull yourself up onto a branch to be able to harvest the fruit. If you're lost in the wild, you have a terrible sense of direction. Anyway. And you're going to want to, again, a little bit more than shoulder length apart, and all the way up, hold and down. And make sure to breathe hard. <sighs> We're just going to stop at four, not because I couldn't do more, but because I didn't want to bore you. And you'll feel immediately the blood start rushing into your lats, into your triceps, maybe into your biceps, get you, giving yourself a little Batman wings. On that one, I felt immediately the boredom. So let me tell you something about this exercise, Timothy. Let me tell you something about this exercise. There's only one reason why people like to do back exercises, and that's your ego's trying to put something behind you. So instead of injuring your psyche and your spirit with this exercise, what I'd recommend is letting things go. Let me show you. Timothy, what's a piece of baggage that you carry? Hmm. Probably when someone stole my uh, Game Boy when I was in sixth grade. Okay. So let me have you repeat these words as a far superior back exercise in the pull-ups. Could you say, I'm a little baby whining about my lost Game Boy? Hmm. I've never had a workout partner like this, but... Next level. Okay, so... I am a little baby whining about my lost Game Boy. And I choose to let it go. And I choose to let it go. Legend would have it, if something's easy to say, then it means it's easy to do. I think you just let it go. And now I feel like a baby and I'm trying to get like a man. Keep trying, brother. All right, we got your third best workout which is the handstand. After all that testosterone is juicing through your veins and you just want to knock down a tree with your bare hands, it's good to add a little playful balancing. Is this the first one you've ever done? Let me tell you something about handstands. If you want to get good at handstands, the last thing you want to be doing is handstands. What you want to do is use the law of attraction to make you good at handstands. 
law of attraction isn't the law of action. With the law of attraction, what you want to do is visualize you, yourself doing handstand, which will make you much better at doing handstands than actually doing handstands. So you'll want to do five minutes of handstand visualization to make the law of attraction work for you and your handstands. Does that actually sound five or ten times better than just doing handstands? I don't know, you lose me, bro. Yeah, I'm a lot to keep up with. There's nothing like pressing up a bunch of iron off your chest to really get that blood flowing and just to feel the pump in your whole entire upper body. And I got my purple friend behind me. Are you gonna be able to pick this up if I drop it? Well, it's 135 pounds, so there's a good chance you will drop it. I'll be on my game. Okay, let's do this. You want everyone to be able to hear you, even your neighbors. Let me tell you something about bench press. There's one type of people who like to do bench press, and that's insecure people. What that really tells me is you have heart chakra issues. So better exercise than a bench press is to invite green light into your heart center to heal your heart chakra that's causing your insecurity. Then you won't need your insecure motivated bench press anymore. Do you even visualize green light, bro? My fifth best workout for you is running as fast as you can on your own two feet, otherwise known as a sprint. I mean, have you seen Usain Bolt? Have you seen the Olympian sprinters? That's how I want to be built. That's how you want to be built. I'm a spirit having a human experience. Now that you're done tap dancing, have a seat. Let me show you something better than sprints. The problem with sprints is it just means your ego is trying to run away from your problems. So Timothy, I'm going to confront you to confront your problems. See that candle flame? I want you to look at it. Look at the flame. Breathe all your problems into the flame. How cleansing is that? You look way more clear than before those sprints. All right, as you can tell, I had a different type of wor workout partner with me today. Um, Basically a good workout. Switch your head. Yeah, uh, if you wanna learn more about getting smaller muscles, decreased testosterone, and also a deflated ego, you can check JP out at youtube.com slash awaken with JP. We actually just uploaded a video on his channel with me enlightening his followers on how to live the right way. Uh, Timothy, uh, I really can only imagine how much gratitude you must have for me being here on your channel. You're welcome.